Yo, what's up, guys? We're back today, and I got a goodie for you. Sorry for you know the dimness in here, but I got a goodie for you. Element. This is a Roku TV. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to power it on here. There's a blink. And what do we see? What do we see? Absolutely nothing. See, it says Iceman right here. Options. Well, that's hard to see. Let me see if I can uh, go on YouTube. How oh, did you hear that? YouTube. So, this is very, very hard to see. I'm going to show you how to fix this. I'm going to show you how to diagnose it and fix it. Stick around. Alright, so the reason why I have it so dark in here is because when I have this TV on in the, in the brightness, you're not going to see be able to see much of it. Um, let me grab my remote here real quick. Hold on. Yeah, like I said, you're not going to be able to see much. So let me turn it on again. Now, uh, from what I heard from the, from the customer, he says that uh, sometimes it'll come on, sometimes it won't come on. Uh, sometimes I'll have like bars or whatever here and there. Um, but one of the ways that you can tell, so I, right now, you can't really tell nothing. Um, when I turn on the light, it's very hard to see if there's anything happening um, but in the back. But one good way of finding out is here. Let me grab my other phone. You have a flashlight here. Um, what I do is I just basically put it kind of like towards the edge. Kind of like this. So, And you're able to see a lot more than... than uh, sorry. This is very hard to do. <laughs> um, but you're able to see when we test it like this. You're able to see a little bit more on what's happening. And you can see like... Right there, I can see the word home. We see Element up here. Roku TV. Happy Holidays. Um, our inputs. So, like I said, you can see a little more on there. Uh, we see Netflix right here. There it is. So, that's when you know that your... The computer... I mean, I'm sorry, not the computer, but the TV is not bad completely. It's, it's your backlights. So, your backlights somehow, somewhere, um, turned off because it was a malfunction within the backlights. So what I'm going to show you how to do is how to break this TV apart down. Uh, we're going to repair this TV and we're going to hopefully get it back to life. Now the number one cause for this TV, uh, when, and usually about 90% of the TVs out there, is when you leave the uh, brightness in super bright um, or, or, or bright. So I would suggest to you is to lower the brightness down to the mid-level or right below the high level. Uh, preferably the lower the, the lower the brightness, the longer it's going to last you. So think about it that way. So let's get to it. Alright, so now we have light here. So first off, we're going to uh, start off by taking the stands off. Uh, we don't need them. It's going to be, you know, in the way, excess weight, whatever. Um, uh, I want to also get the model number here, which is going to be ES, I'm sorry, let me, let me check here. E4ST6519RKU. So, 65 inch Roku. Uh, this is a smart 4K TV. Uh, what we're going to do here is... There are some screws here. Let me see here. There's small Phillips screws here that we're going to remove um, while we're at it. So we're going to move that one. We're also going to remove every single uh, screw here. I mean, basically, every screw you can see on the back end, we're going to remove here. Uh, except for the... Oh, yeah, we're, we, need, we need to remove these screws as well, too, The the where you mount them as well. So I remove every screw you can see. Um, keep track of... Which screw goes where? Because these are different screws. Uh, like this, these are different screws than these right here. So, just try to keep track of where which screws go where. But once you got that, um, I'll show you the rest here. All right, so we got it already taken apart somewhat. These are the screws that uh, hold that little bottom part off. So, as you can see, it's loose there. This is where um, the LED lights are tied into. Uh, this is a power supply, the T-Con board, the main board. Wi-Fi board, speakers. So we're gonna be um, trying to remove this frame, this frame out of the out of the TV here. I'm gonna lay it down on a on the TV with the most likely the back facing down, and I'm gonna try to pull on the plastic with the flat head. So kind of like this, see if it, it'll come apart. Which I would suggest to be very Right. Kind of like this. Be very, very, very careful how you do this. Um, 
I'll, I'll figure it out right now. So let me try doing that first. All right, so the frame has been taken off. Um, it's basically, you know, held down by plastic. So what you want to do is you kind of want to use your your fingers and also a screwdriver to kind of pry it open. Just be careful when you're pulling it like this. You're pulling it, pulling. It. You don't press too hard here. You're actually trying to pull out. And then what I did is for the corners is hard. Is basically shove in the the flathead and then just kind of work my way in there until it pops out. So we have the frame out. The next order here would be to remove the LCD. Now in order to move the LCD, we're going to need to remove these or loosen up these uh, ribbon pads here. Let me see if I can get you down here. All right, let's see here. Now the way we do that is, let's see. Um, see this T corner here? We're going to go ahead and uh, Undo these. Let's go ahead and open this real quick. Come on, come on. There we go. Open that. Open that. It's basically like a little lid. And then we slowly wiggle it out of there. Out of place here. And then what, what's going to happen here is there's some tape that's holding these tabs down. Try to loosen that tape up. And we're going to release these tabs here sorry about the let me just try to see if I can show you out with one here with one hand so I'm removing that tape there I know really I'm much faster but I haven't done this in a while so so make sure you get all the tape um, the speakers pop out like this just in case you need to get in there so make make sure that this is uh, this is able to freely pop out. Um, I need to go in there. I'm not too sure if it's able to pop out yet. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you what I did. All right. So after removing those tabs, um, this is basically how it's gonna be right here. Um, it, these have some sort of sticky things on there that was kind of pain in the ass to get. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this forward and I'm gonna tape them. So hold on. All right, so I taped it already. Um, although I didn't put the tape like a like a permanent solution, I just put it there just to hold the tabs up. All right. Our next step would be to utilize our suction cups here. We're basically at the stage where we're going to remove the screen. Now the screen is very fragile, and it it any movement can crack it. Um, so that's why we needed to tape these out of the way so we can just pull it up and then. You know, we'll, we're going to probably lay on the wall there, which is still a little risky, but you're going to see me do it, and then we'll see how it goes.
right, so we had a few strips here that are actually taped on to, this, to the edges. So you gotta be very careful when you pull it, because um, it will crack on you if once you pull it out and you didn't know that there's adhesive behind there. So I had to take most of it out. Hopefully it doesn't crack on me right now. We're gonna give it a whirl here. And we'll start hearing the, the, the noises here and there. Like you said, you gotta be very careful as far as what uh what side you're pulling. I feel some adhesive over here somewhere. I already feel the break breaking, or not 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 the screen, but the I already feel the adhesive breaking. So it's like a little strip here. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna pull it out. I should be good now. Just be careful with these tabs here in the bottom. I said, like I said, and this this LCD is very flimsy than most most of them that I've dealt with. So we're gonna rock it forward like this. This is why they charge you so much to fix that LCD. I mean the backlights. And the problem is, this thing's very flimsy. Um, I might not be able to lay it on the wall or something like that because it might crack. But I'm going to try it either way. So, what I did is I just took it apart, I took out the, the suction cups because what happens to the suction cups is once if you leave them on there, they will fall down and they'll fall on your screen and crack your screen. So take them off, we'll reposition them later. Um, this is where the screen is at for the white screen. So LEDs are transmitted up, it hits this white screen and it gets whitewashed and gives you a nice picture afterwards. So all we have to do is just take out these plastic thingies. Um, it should be fairly easy to come out here. Can you see how easy they are to pop out? They're just little hooks. Just keep track of uh, what side goes what. Now I will tell you, try to not get this dirty. Uh, try not to scratch it, drop anything, because sometimes it will show up on the screen. So, I mean, I, I'm not in a controlled environment, but it, try to be in the most controlled environment that you can. Uh, because any any pet, any speck of dust will probably show on the screen itself. So um, I've done this multiple times, so I kind of already have a good uh, grasp of what I, what I need to clean up here. But I'm gonna go ahead and take these off, and then I'll show you the LEDs in a moment here. Pause this. All right, I got the frame off. Now we need to get the the sheets out here. Now, like I said, the sheets are very important because anything that gets scratches on there will show up. Um, there should be about four sheets and then a thick sheet as well. Three or four sheets and then a thick sheet. The thick sheet is actually the, the bottom one. That one's the one that comes apart. Or that one's the one that pops up. Slowly pop it up here. Slowly because it's, it, this is all adhesive. And I hate the fact that it's adhesive because it always makes things, uh, you see that pop, it makes things fast, uh, you know, easy to break here. So everything that every move that you make on this TV, you want to make it soft but firm. Um, that way it doesn't crack or it doesn't have any quick response. Um, it's it's honestly this model number. This is a very hard TV to break down. Um, I would not recommend anybody who's never done it to do it, but you're more than welcome to to try it yourself. If you're tech savvy, you know if you want to try it, go ahead and try it. But I wouldn't recommend anybody else to do it. Um, like I said, even this, the, the way I'm doing things, not the best way to do it. I'm already, uh, it's already slid on me here, so I'm gonna have to find a place to put this where it doesn't scratch. So let me. 
Here are your LEDs. Um, last step we need is just to we're gonna need to remove these little um, these little hooks, and then we'll have uh, access to them. We'll have access to the LEDs directly, and I'll show you um, how I do them, and then I'll also post a video or a link of how you know how else to do them if you don't have the tool that I have. So stick around here. All right. So unfortunately, I'm, I decided I'm not going to go into very much detail on how to test this out. Um, you'll just see me doing it as I go. Uh, I do want to recommend you to buy to purchase this uh, LED uh, TV backlight tester. It's, it's about 30, 40 bucks on Amazon. I'll post a link on there, and this is the perfect tool for this uh, job. So let me uh, get situated here. We're gonna test everything on this end first. Um, let's take let's take a look. Alright, so here we have, uh, this is 115, but okay, it's not, I don't think that's the right way to test it, let's do it the other side, there we go, 13.4 uh, volts, that's, that's what it looks like we have here, so I got shocked, 13.4 um, volts, sounds about right, 13.4 volts, sounds about right, 13.45, that's found about right. 13.4, last row here. 13.4, okay. So that's that seems fine uh, as far as the second row goes. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to test uh, the first row. The first row is all the way to the zip to the right. Let me move this TV here. Ugh, come on. There we go. So, and I want to keep this here because I want to see exactly um, how many, how much voltage is going through those. So let me try this this first set right here. I'm not gonna remember the white sheet until I know which which, which ones I need to uh, remove. It makes it easier. All right, here we're exposed with the, the both strips here. Here. Okay, uh, took a bit to fire that up. 29.8. All right, 29.8. Pretty good there. Um, not sure what happened there. So the circuit must be a little weird here. Let me go ahead and I'll unplug this in here. Just to make sure I'm not back feeding the connector here. But this, you're going to be kind of testing different ways, it's just trial and error, so but nothing too crazy. There we go. So this is a 33.2. Uh, every LED seems to be lit up here. Connect this back up. So 33.2. And if the video goes away, I'm sorry guys. There's a limitation on how much I can uh, record. 29.8. Interesting. 29.8. What do we have over here? Thirty-three point six. So, kind of tells me something. Uh, Twenty-nine point eight. Thirty-three point eight. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. We're off like four volts. Let's do this one again. I want to try this one here again. So that middle one may be bad. Thirty-eight 
31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31,
I don't know, um, get those prongs to be a little bit tighter because that's that's really the whole culprit of it. Because um, I, I thought you know one LED was bad, but I switched it over to another array and it turned out to be good. So this, so it's not the LEDs. The LEDs are not bad. It's the connector that that joins those LEDs. So uh, I'm gonna get to that and see what happens. All right. So I ended up uh, did soldering it um, a portion of it. Excuse me a sec here. But it wasn't that easy. Um, I just I barely put a little bit of dab of solder. Um, just enough to to make it uh, stiffer going into the these connectors. Um, as long as I guess it makes it you know stiffer, then you should be good. If you're not able to do the soldering portion, what I would recommend is get like a piece of tweezers, go into the blades of the connector inside, and then just press them together, and that should allow a little bit more uh, pressure on the on the, the connector, and in turn, you know, it should have a a good uh, good connection after that. So let me turn on the TV here. Any day here. All right. So there it is. Let me scoot back. All the connectors are working. As you can see, I'm shaking these here, and nothing goes off here. So I didn't replace the LEDs. So just in case I think it's magic or trickery, you know, that connector was a bad part. That's where where the fault is at on these TVs. And I guess I would say if if the, if your LEDs have that that screws those screws um, holding these down, that may be the issue from that connector. All right, guys. So it's ready. Um, we're just gonna give it a shot to see if it turns on. Go ahead, hit it. All right. Let's see here. There we go. So we have full uh, arrays here. Everything is coming in good. Oh, that's beautiful. Let me turn off the light to see. So the the picture looks perfect now. Um, so one thing I, I mean I did want to emphasize: this is not easy. This is very hard. Um, there's a lot of screws here. There's actually some screws that I didn't even put back. Um, reason being is because. Uh, these strips and stuff have screws. Uh, they don't need the screws. If there's adhesive, you're good. And then what I did is I put like two screws on each strip and that was it. It's overkill to have six screws for one strip. Um, and then the last thing is the sheet that goes in between um, the, the layers. Do not get those dirty. Do not drop them on the floor because uh, there's gonna be, there can be dust in there and it'll show up whenever um, it's being pushed, the light is being pushed out. So other than that guys, I appreciate you watching. And we'll see you on the next one. Take your life out.